तो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल आई विल गिव अ वेरी ब्रीफ ओवर व्यू अबाउट द फंक्शंस एंड अबाउट द यूजर डिफाइंड फंक्शंस वेरी वेरी ब्रीफली गिव एन एग्जांपल आल्सो एंड आई विल टॉक अबाउट द जावा स्क्रिप्ट स्ट्रिक्ट मोड व्हिच हैज सम गुड एरर हैंडलिंग कैपेबिलिटीज एंड गुड फॉर सिक्योरिटी आल्सो सो लेट्स लुक एट द आउटलाइन ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल सो दिस इज द टॉपिक्स व्हिच विल बी कवर्ड इन दिस मॉड्यूल सो लेट्स some minutes on the background so like other programming languages there are functions which are defined by javascript so those are the built in functions and the thing is that there are different versions of javascript now it may so happen that certain older versions may not support the functions which are in the current versions so it is important that you should be aware that which functions are supported by your potential clients your customers and which browsers they are using so that the page which you have developed using javascript it comes to them properly and of course like other programming languages javascript also supports user defined functions you can write your own functions and uh, in this module we will look at this cube me function basically what it does it generates the cube the cube of the given number so let's go into more details so what you see on the left side of your screen that is the code and this code can be viewed using a text editor also so when you load this code when you load this code into a browser this is this is what you will see over here so this code is an example which incorporates the earlier codes okay and the code declares a function cube me cube me within the head section of the document like this okay this is the cube me i am talking about this code accept an argument called incoming number incoming number over here within the function and if then decision statement is the heart of the function when the incoming number equals 1 the function returns a text saying what are you doing if you put a 1 it will say what are you doing when the incoming number is not equal to 1 the math power method is called passing the incoming number variable and the integer 3 as argument the call to the math dot power over here raises the incoming number to the power of 3 and the value then return to the calling function all right so all the previous code was placed within the head portion of the document so that it can be called by other code which is just what we are going to do the browser then renders the body section of the document which includes another bit of javascript code so i believe you understand this so now we look at the javascript strict mode so how do you go into the strict mode you type this and it enables the strict mode it enhances uh, error checking and security to help fight against mistyped variable names variable declarations require the use of the var keyword additionally changes to the eval function and other areas help improve the code strict mode is enabled with the following syntax which i have already mentioned strict mode is locally scoped meaning that it can be enabled globally by placing the use strict line at the beginning of the script or it can be enabled only within a function by placing the line within the function which is done over here strict mode helps catch typographical errors by preventing undeclared variables okay all variables in strict mode need to be instantiated prior to the use over here okay now you should see over here that over here the var the var var missing over here right but with this strict mode the user will get a message and will put a var over here and this error will be gone so you catch the error catch the error i believe you understand this okay now strict mode changes how the eval function is handled the eval function executes a string as if it were regular javascript code and can lead to security issues in certain cases in strict mode eval cannot instantiate a new variable 
or function that will be used outside the while statement for example over here that takes care of the problem about the eval function why because of the strict mode over here so in the preceding code example a syntax error would be produced because strict mode is enabled and the test well variable is not available outside the eval statement strict mode also prevents duplication of variable names within an object function call over here you see that you have this over here this is duplicate okay so this is all i have for this module